Hey guys, welcome back to Home Built, and today I'm going to attempt to shine up the 680. So for those of you who possibly didn't follow me uh, closely when I painted this car, uh, this car, the particular paint has so many layers to it that um, basically uh, I have a lot of orange peel. A lot of that is due to the fact that it is a, um, it's a, it's a three layer paint, it's a multi layer paint. So uh, after the car was all primed, the, um, the first thing I did is I painted um, about, I think it was about four coats of the base, um, the base color, which is, um, which is a metallic blue. Um, and then I went through, and then there's about uh, three layers of the, um, the, the top coat, which is like a, a transparent, pearly, um, sort of candy-ish um, blue over the top of that. And then there's about uh, five coats of clear over the top, because I knew I wanted to chop it back, and I knew because of all those layers of paint, all painted in one go, without sanding in between, it's got lots of thickness there and there's lots of orange peel. And this door is particularly the worst because on the last coat, or I think on the fourth coat of clear, um, I was getting tired in the booth and the tail of the hose flicked the car just here. And I've got this, um, it's sort of, there's a bit of dirt and muck in the paint that I had to sand out and get rid of. And there's also a run here from where I sort of was uh, clearing it a bit of heavy. So, I'm gonna tackle this panel first. Um, this is gonna be my first thing to tackle on the car. But my main goal is to chop it all and get it all perfectly flat and then buff it all up so it gets this super high gloss. That's the plan. I am not a polisher. I've uh, tried it a little bit on the, uh, on the Beetle. I've never really done uh, any polishing. Nothing, uh, nothing extreme anyway. And uh, this is definitely gonna be extreme so we're gonna see how it goes. But first things first, I'm gonna bring the car down and I'm gonna get it, um, I'm gonna get the, the windows up and mask up uh, all the insides so I don't get any polishing compound inside the car. And then we'll start looking at um, doing some of my favorite thing and that is sanding. So I'm gonna go through now and just cut out this run. And um, those of you who haven't seen it uh, before, am I gonna use my normal method of taking a razor blade, just a little bit of tape on either corner, just so that the corners don't dig in, and just, um, just start scraping it over the top. And um, we'll, we'll wear that down. And then um, I'll get in and start sanding the whole thing back with uh, 1000 grit. Being super careful of all of the edges, all of these raised bits, all of the edges, um, they will rub through really, really easily. So I'm going to avoid them um, and just uh, and just concentrate on the center areas. And I'll probably just go through and just uh, lightly hand sand those later. But um, first things first, let's chop this out and then we'll get into sanding. All right, so you can see here, um, you can see there, this is, this is sort of the effect that um, the heavy orange peel does when I sand it. And this is more what I'm going for. So I want this nice, perfectly smooth, flat area. Any of these dark spots mean that they're low spots. So you can see that there, there was a little bit of, uh, there was a little bit of dust or something that, that, uh, that was there. So that's got a little halo around it, whereas low around. And I just want to sand it down until I get this whole thing perfectly flat and smooth so then when i when i buff it it will come up as a perfectly flat smooth glossy area so 
I'm just gonna work my way around now. This door is obviously the worst because, because of the fact that I flicked the door with that, um, that hose, I need to sand all that part out. And um, I also didn't do the fifth coat of clear over this. I just, this has only got four coats on this area because I didn't wanna clear over the, um, the dirt and stuff that's here. So I'm just gonna keep sanding down. You can still see there's a little bit of uh, sand and dust and stuff in there. So I'm gonna keep sanding and just, uh, just get that stuff out and hopefully it doesn't go too deep. Okay, so now I've got the door uh, completely sanded. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna continue around and doing the whole car. Originally, I was gonna just do the door and polish it all up. It, um, it all needs to be done, so I'm just gonna do it all in one hit anyway. So, um, get ready for a nice big time lapse of lots and lots and lots and lots of sanding. So I've gone through now and I've sanded back to 1000 grit, um, just over half the car. I've uh, done everything around to the rear quarter on the far side. I've still got the door and, uh, and sort of this front guard and uh, this half of the bonnet to do. Um, but my compressor's having a rough time. It's, um, it's, yeah, it's a fair bit of non-stop work for the compressor. So uh, I'm gonna give it a break now and I'm gonna start going over the whole thing with uh, 2000 grit sandpaper. So, um, the, the basic method of polishing is you're just getting finer and finer and finer until you get this nice nice gloss. So the 2000 grit should be reasonably quick because um, it's just getting rid of the 1000 grit scratches which are very fine anyway. So I'm gonna go over everything now with 2000 and then um, hopefully I can finish off doing the, uh, the, the rest of the sanding on the other side after the uh, compressors have had a bit of a rest. My old compressor finally gave up the ghost um, it's done me well for a long time, but uh, yeah, it, uh, it gave in in the end, so I had to switch over to the, uh, the hand orbital sander. Um, not normally what I'd use on the car, but uh, beggars can't be choosers when it starts getting down to the, uh, the, uh, the end of the job. So this is all done now in the 1000 grit, so now it's time to get out the wet and dry and start hand sanding that 2000 grit, and then at least I will have the entire car done in 2000. Hopefully I can start polishing. I really just, yeah, just sanding, sanding, sanding all day. That has been a full day so far on uh, just sanding the whole thing back, but it's looking really good. It's now, I've done the whole thing in 1000 and then gone over the whole thing again with the 2000. So that means I'm, I'm finally ready to give it a quick clean and a polish. Um, I'm gonna do that in the morning. Thankfully, I started this uh, a bit earlier and I've got an extra day up my sleeve for this episode, so I'm going to get into it tomorrow and um, start polishing. And it's a new day and we're back into it, so um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and just give the car a bit of a wash down, make sure it's all, uh, get rid of all the sludge and stuff. And then um, let's uh, start having a look at what polishing compounds and stuff I'm gonna actually try and use. Okay, so I'm now ready, cleaned up, um, as good as I'm gonna get, uh, and I'm gonna start polishing. Now, I've got my, um, I bought this a little while ago. Um, it's quite expensive, but uh, I think it's uh, one of the, uh, the, the better ones around. Uh, polisher, it's a Rupes thing. Um, hopefully this should do a decent job. I did a very little tiny bit of polishing on uh, John Lemon, and um, it turned out quite nice with this thing, so that's good. Uh, as far as polishing stuff goes, I'm going through, I'm using 4CR stuff today, and um, basically there's sort of, uh, I'm gonna work my way up. So this stuff here is um, for sort of getting out 2000 grit scratches. This is sort of the coarser uh, cutting compound. Then this is, uh, this one here is a sort of a high gloss 
compound and then this one the last one is like a, the anti hologram like like the sort of super fine stuff and starting with a sort of a coarse a sort of a harder foam pad to start with working through softer and then softer again the softer stuff is to get that really really super high gloss shush the softer stuff is to get that super far high gloss i'm hoping that's what's going to happen because i am definitely never polished a full car like this before so i'm a complete beginner but uh, I'm just gonna take my time and see if I can uh, get a half decent job. So first things first is um, starting with this cutting compound and um, I'm just gonna, a little bit of water, a bit of compound, just just see how it goes. I think from, from memory, I need to uh, basically sort of get a bit on the pad and make sure it's worked into the pad nicely and then start, start going, see what happens. Okay, so I'm not sure how well this is going to go, but that is round one of the sanding done. Uh, the polishing, I'm sorry. And um, it's, uh, I had to go over it again with 2000 grit because uh, I could still see some of the swirl marks in it, but um, I think it's coming out pretty good. And that's only the first step. So uh, we'll keep moving forward and see how we get with the rest of it. But uh, that's looking pretty flat and smooth now. I'm, I'm liking it. All right, I've gone over the roof and I've, uh, I've realized now that I'm gonna have to go over the whole car again with 1500 grit and 2000 grit. Uh, I had the same issue on the roof as I had on the door, that uh, when you got on the right angle, you could see the swirl marks from the uh, 1000 grit um, random orbit. It's a slow, tedious process, but it's time to start 1500ing the car to try and get it all nice and perfectly flat, or as flat as I can get it anyway. All right, hopefully now that I've done it and another sand over the whole thing, it should be right to uh, polish and the, uh, the polish will actually work and I won't have all these tiny little scratches in it and stuff. I've hopefully got out all the swirl marks now. <sighs> now it's time for lots and lots and lots of polishing. So I spent a lot of time going backwards and forwards with uh, round one, and I've just done the first level of round two. There's still the super high gloss section to go, and this is looking great. Like, so just I've just done this half of the roof, and wow, uh, it makes a big difference.
That's been two long days of sanding, lots of sanding, and then lots of buffing backwards and forwards. I'm sort of trying to learn how to use the buff. So um, I found that the first doors I started with came up really good, and then as I went around the car, by the time I got to the other end, uh, well, by the time I got all the way around, they, um, I wasn't getting the same level of, uh, of gloss out of it. The, um, the pads get a lot of uh, build-up of compound on there, and it's a real mix, trying to get the right balance of compound and, and uh, a bit of water and, uh, you know, because obviously there's some on the pad, so I'm not using a whole heap after I go. And um, I had to go over bits several times. Um, I'm far from an expert. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just sort of winging it. I've watched a couple of videos on YouTube and it's getting there. Hey guys, today we've got another episode of Mail Time and we've got a, uh, a package here from Fresno, California. It's a card. The difference between the impossible and the possible lies in a person's determination. That might have something to do with my, uh, my stubbornness to just keep working at stuff, even when they don't work. I'll keep going. Um, all right, and it says, uh, Hi there, Mr. and Mrs. Jeff. Greetings from Southern California, USA. Just wanted to write and say how much I enjoy your videos on YouTube. Uh, they instruct and entertain and keep me motivated on my 240Z restoration. I've enclosed some bits here to add to your build. Door jam stops, makes the door clunk just right. Little holes at the bottom of the door jam. Um, four inspection lid bumpers. Um, silicon them in, one at the front, one at the side. Save noise and chip paint. And finally, the boots for the windshield wiper posts. And he's also sent me a 240Z model. model. It's kind of like his builds. Thanks again for the motivation. Um, Richard Harvey and Shirley. Thank you very much, Richard. And what he sent through was a pack of a whole bunch of rubber bits, which is awesome because no, I do not have these bits. So um, now I'm going to try and uh, yeah work out where they all go. And also, oh, goody, goody. Adding to my, uh, my Z collection, there's a, uh, a Hot Wheels. That's very cool. That is gonna go up here with my uh, other one. I'm getting a collection now of, um, of these, these cars. And if you've got anything you wanna send through to us at Home Built by Jeff, just send it through to Home Built by Jeff, PO Box 1520, Barrel, New South Wales, 2576, Australia. All right, Mrs. Jeff is working late tonight, so there won't be any fun facts until Friday. Sorry, guys. Um, but as far as the car goes today, I'm uh, quite happy with the, um, the progress. I mean, I wish I had the whole thing polished. It was two full days of work to get it to this stage. Um, like everything, it's a learning curve. I'm you know, doing this uh, sort of major polishing job for the first time, so I'm sort of seeing what works and what doesn't. Um, some of the bits that I've done that I've sort of got uh, to a, uh, a good level, like the door on this side and the, uh, and the roof and most of the bonnet and stuff now, are really, uh, are really looking good. Uh, they're really getting that nice deep shine, which is what I wanted. There's just other bits that have still got a bit of a haze on them. They're not perfect. I'm, uh, like everything I do, it's not perfect, but uh, I'm giving it a go. I'm learning for the first time, so uh, I'll get there. In any case, um, that is definitely all our time for this week. It's um, So just do all the usual stuff. Follow me, Facebook, Instagram, like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff, and I'll see you next time. See you guys.